California Bearing Ratio Test Apparatus to be used Molds Rammer Tripod and Dial Indicator Surcharge Weights CBR Loading Device Soaking Tank Drying Oven Mixing Pans Straight Edge Filter Paper Balances Moisture Cans Graduated cylinder and water bottle. Vernier caliper. Procedure. Get the weights of each mold with the base plate, without the extension collar and the spacer disc, to the nearest 5 grams. Measure the diameter and height of the mold. Measure also the diameter and thickness of the spacer disc. Obtain a 6.8 kg of material passing sieve 3 4 inch or 19 mm. Get a representative sample for moisture content determination. This is the hygroscopic moisture content or the actual percentage of moisture content of our sample. Compute for the amount of water to be added. Thoroughly mix the computed amount of water to be added to each of the 6.8 kg samples. Clamp the mold with extension color attached to the base plate with the hole for extraction facing down. Insert spacer disc over the base plate and place a disc of filter paper on top of the spacer disc. Compact each specimen using the rammer, applying the specified number of blows per layer, 10, 30, and 65 blows. If MDD or T99, use three equal layers. If MDD T180, use 5 equal layers. Remove the extension collar and carefully trim the compacted soil using a straight edge. Make sure the top is level and filled up. Place a filter paper on top of the specimen and remove the spacer disc. Clamp the mold to the base plate. Weigh the mold with compacted soil to the nearest 5 grams. Label and weigh the moisture cans for moisture content determination. From the remaining mixed sample, get two representative samples for moisture content determination and weigh. Oven dry the samples. Repeat the steps for the preparation for the succeeding specimens with the corresponding number of blows. Put the swell plate on top of the filter paper. Place the annular surcharge weight and the slotted surcharge weight. Attach the extension collar and set up the tripod and swell gauge. Immerse the mold and weights in water allowing free access of water to the top and bottom of specimen. Take initial measurements for swell and allow the specimen to soak for 96 hours. Remove the free water and allow the specimen to drain downward for 15 minutes. Take care not to disturb the surface of the specimen during the removal of water. Remove the weights, perforated plate, and filter paper. Place a surcharge of weights on the specimen sufficient to produce an intensity of the loading specified. Set the penetration piston with a 4.54 kg load, then set both the penetration dial indicator and the load indicator to zero. Apply the load on the penetration piston 
so that the rate of penetration is approximately 0.05 inch or 1.27 mm per minute. Record the division readings at each specified penetration. Remove from the CBR loading device. Get samples for moisture content after penetration. Compaction.